Ask a Mortician. Welcome to episode two of Ask a Mortician. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for all of the comments and ideas. Um, I know that I like, obviously, talking about death, but it turns out that you all do too. Our first question comes from distinguished YouTube personage Haley the Kid, who asks, do you have to grind the bones after cremation? I heard that bones don't just burn down to ash. When we cremate a human body, all of the organic material that makes up a person is burned off, and what you're left with is just the inorganic skeleton. And we take these bones out of the chamber, but even though they're pretty brittle at this point, they're still sort of large, recognizable chunks of human bone, which we can't really give back to a family. I will illustrate this principle with some animal bones that I may or may not just to pad in my home for this sort of situation. These are the cremated ashes of my friend's cat, and these are some pelican bones that I found on the beach in the Salton Sea. This is what comes out of the cremation chamber. This is what the family expects you to return to them in an urn. How do you turn this into this? <laughs> crockpot-looking apparatus called a processor or a cremulator. And what it does is take the recognizable chunks of bone and with a big spinny uh, metal thing, turns it into what we recognize as human cremated remains or ashes. And uh, it's essentially kind of a bone blender, if you will. Before we put the bones through the processor, we have to make sure that we remove any metal items that may be with them, like from a casket that was cremated, or something like this, which is a metal hip joint from a body, um, because if you leave something like this in, it will really mess up the machine, because it's a pretty intense piece of metal. So in answer to your question, do we technically grind the bones after cremation? Yes, but don't tell anyone who told you. Question two comes from Will from Los Angeles. Is there such thing as dying of natural causes? So what you're probably asking is, can you be declared dead of natural causes? And the answer is no. Um, as someone who fills out a lot of death certificates all day, um, I will tell you that uh, you can't just put that someone officially died of natural causes. Normally what we'll put, or what the doctor will tell us to put, is something like cardiorespiratory arrest. Uh, so the person may have had cancer, or they may have had Alzheimer's, or they may have had any number of things that elderly people get, but technically what killed them is either their cardio heart stopped pumping, or their respiratory lungs, they stopped breathing, and one of those things caused them to die. Is it natural? Yes, but you can't just write natural causes. I could write natural causes, but then the health department would reject it, the person wouldn't be cremated or buried on time, the family would yell at me, and I would subsequently be filled with despair. The last question comes from Luke from Washington, D.C., who asks, what would you like done with your body when you die? Luke, four words. Corpse, ground, whole, dump. And then you can, you know, put some dirt over me. But that's it. Please keep sending your questions. I will answer every last one of them if it's the last thing I do. Um, I'm having so much fun. I'm going to Disneyland for the first time ever this weekend, and this will still be more fun. Suck it, Disneyland. Beast, look upon your own mortality.